perspective of the British camp. And I believe British Consul is involved in the Indian festival or British festival in India. Please tell us something about it. The British Council is going to be making, uh, hopefully, a very important contribution to the festival which will take place between the UK and India next year uh, to mark the celebration of the independence of um, and the great nation which is India. And we're look very much looking forward to bringing the best of British art and culture uh, to India in 2017. And what kind of uh, things will you be bringing to India? Well, our ambition is to bring as wide a range of um, performers and artists uh, as we possibly can. We're hoping to bring some very eminent writers, we're hoping to bring some very eminent musicians, we're uh, hoping to bring some very uh, eminent visual artists uh, uh, as well. So the idea is that we will have a wide range of activities uh, across uh, many of the cities of India. I've been talking to, we have been hearing about the conservation of the folk culture and tribal art. Mm. And, and will you be bringing some, like, Morris dancing or things like that? Or? Well, what we hope to do, and it's too early to be specific about whether uh, we'll be able to bring um, a specific traditional dance, for example, uh, here, but what we're hoping is to bring the wide range of artists, and some of that will be indeed traditional. Now, whether it's quite Morris dancing, uh, it's too early to tell, but also it will represent the very diverse communities we, we have have here. Uh, yeah, we have the uh, community from the subcontinent, we have the um, the four nations of the, of the UK itself, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, as well as England. And um, so it will be important, we think, to represent the, the diversity of the UK uh, in the uh, in the celebrations next year. And will there be any conferences which you'll be organising? Well, we're, we're hoping that we will have a, a couple of events where we bring cultural leaders from the UK and cultural leaders from India together uh, because what's important uh, about the year not only is that each event is good and the year itself is good but we, that we build long-term relationships so that long-term partnerships uh, can take place because if you go back to the founding of the and the British Council. What we're really about is building a basis of knowledge and understanding between people because the and um, the belief which we hold very dearly is that you ha if you have that mutual exchange of knowledge and ideas you build strong relationships and it's those relationships, people working together, the UK and India working together, which will help make the wider world better, safer and more prosperous for all of us. And the last question, most of the international events in India, they take place in Delhi or Bombay, big cities. Mm -hmm. Will you be going to small villages and small towns? We're hoping to make sure that we get across India. The, the, of course, there are many, many great cities and many, many great towns and many, many great villages uh, in India. The hope is we will be able to get uh, to uh, some and to engage those uh, local artists and local craftspeople uh, as well. Quite how we manage to do that, not sure yet, but that's certainly in the ambition. And when will the programme be announced? The programme's still being worked on and um, we're hoping that by the end of the year we'll have uh, a framework for the um, the overall programme and then, uh, as you well know, um, from your own experience, the, um, the programme itself will probably be changing up until the last minute, um, but uh, the, you know, early next year we hope to begin to tie down something which will be um, specific and then the programme will be running through 2017 and in, indeed a little bit beyond into 18. Thank you very much. Tim. You're very welcome.